Hello everybody, it's Retro Gaming now, and we are back playing Riven, the sequel to Mist. And when we last left off, we just finished Catherine's journal and learned some interesting perspective of what's going on. And we are here in Tay, and um, I think Nayla or something, her name, left us this book. So let's go ahead and take this out, because there's nothing left to do here. And we are back in this room. So, we need to figure out what we need to do so the big thing that she was talking about in her journal was powering the domes so as we know the domes store the linking book to gen's age we don't really know what that is yet but we just know that they're in that dome in all of the domes so but we don't really have any idea right now of how actually they're supposed to be powered so what we should do is take a look at what we have and what information we have about the domes. Um, and what I have written down is, what we know so far is, each of the domes has a different symbol on it. And there are five domes. We're going to assume that there's five, one on each island, and we haven't seen the fifth island yet. And so each of these domes has a symbol on it, and each of these symbols connects to a certain color. And so, we only have um, three of the symbols. We have Crater Island, Plateau Island, and Jungle Island. Um, and we also only have two of the colors. Crater Island didn't have any color in the Plateau Island uh, sort of underwater aquarium. There's all those lights. So what we should do is, the one island we do know how to access still is Temple Island. So we should head back to Temple Island. I'm going the wrong way head back to Temple Island and see if we can find some information about that dome. We actually haven't been close enough to that dome to see what's going on there or what symbol it has. Um, and then we'll go check back on Plateau Island what, uh, what colors there are. And then we'll try and see if we can figure out what we're supposed to do with these. Because we have this information, these connecting things to the domes, but we don't really know what they're for, honestly. So make sure the tram's here, and head on out. So we're going to take the tram back to Temple Island, and see if we can find that dome. So let's get ready for a ride. We haven't taken this tram back yet, but we got a quick drop. Let's get going. If you remember what Catherine was talking about, these trams were built because the island of Riven used to be all connected, but it sl slowly started to drift apart. And so Gin was actually kind of smart in the way that he did this, and he did it with these these rails, which can sort of stretch, and like you see, there's a lot of extra room, so as the islands start to move apart, they can stretch out, and these tram systems still work. But it's also been slowed down because of Atris doing, he's riding into this age to change it. Oh, and the door's closed. Did you see that? That was Gin's face in this dome, this thing here. So, what we were thinking earlier does seem to be correct. He does use this as an imager, and he puts himself above here with these warks here. And I think now that we're here a second time, the fact that they sacrifice all this stuff to the warks makes a whole lot more sense, seeing as Gin does use them to kill people. And he puts himself with his crest above them all. Okay, so door is hidden around here somewhere. There it is. So 
I suppose it's possible that Gin's in that room right now, but it's not likely. He probably just pre-recorded it. But, you know, it does give that sense of constant, ever-watching vigilance. Okay, so what we want to do is, we know the dome is around over there somewhere. So let's go here. And see if we can get to that dome. We did power something, so let's just go down and see, real quick, what uh, we have here. Because the dome is up there. And how do we get up there? Well, if we look here, we've actually got a button and a little elevator. <coughs> Which sends us down. place we haven't been yet. And looking here, we can climb up these stairs. And we have now reached the dome, so let's look in here and see which symbol we have. <coughs> Alright, so it looks like it's just the circle with the dot. Write that down and that will be the temple island. No reason to open it, but uh... Now, <coughs> If you look here, there's this big pipe just running in this direction. It runs into this area here. Looking around, there's a bunch of these other pipes going out here. And so the journals we've read have talked about how Gin needs these grandiose things to power this dome, his domes, and to power his books. And it would make sense that perhaps the power is coming from this thing here, the largest golden dome. But so far, we haven't seen anything in this dome that lets us, like, interact or somehow... Like, you know what I'm saying? There's got to be some sort of control system here. <coughs> well, actually, if we stand here, we can push this button and this goes up. Maybe there's something hidden under here. Just a drainage grate. Which, I mean, you know, suppose I, if it does rain here, there's going to be some water coming down in here. You don't want it to pool up and have mosquitoes if there are mosquitoes in this game. <coughs> Alright, so let's head up and let's think about what haven't we done. So, <coughs> since we've returned to Temple Island, what we've been able to do is open all the doors and connect all the walkways so that we can. If we have to essentially get anywhere we want to without having to go through Temple Island, excuse me, not Temple Island, we're on Temple Island, without having to go through the gate room. So we've made it so we don't, the gate room is essentially superfluous. Um, but how is that useful to us? Well, let's just try and think here. Let's look down here. This is the symbol that Catherine did have. So yeah, it does seem pretty clear that this is the place that would power all of these. And this is that one island we don't know of yet. And yeah, you can see there's five coming out of this thing. But how do we get to this thing? There's no indication on this that there's any way to do that. And you can see it just goes around. And that's the walkway you can see. There's got to be some other way to get up there, though. Right? Because it would make sense that that's where all the control is going to be. Um, let's just walk around. Oops. And see what else there is. Because we've already been here. Well, yeah, there's nothing new there. Well, maybe what we need to do is think outside of the box, because <coughs> clearly we can't come on it from here, over here. We don't want to go over those pipes, and we can't go over those pipes. But I wonder if there's some way to come down from the top. Like, if there's any way to get there from the top, let's see if we can just go out here. 
and see. Well, if you look, there is something up there. It looks like there might be a pathway. How do we get to that pathway, though? Well, let's look at the one drawbridge we haven't used yet. If I raise this, perhaps we can go around through the gate room and climb up and go up to the second level. That's gotta be what this drawbridge is for, because there's no other reason to have this, right? Because if I'm standing here, I can just lower it, right? So, since we have that capability to go around, let's do that and see what is up there. Oops. Yeah, it does kind of look like it's going up to something. So, let's use our gate room. I'm not sure how many times we have to rotate it. There's that telescope. We should check out that telescope again at some point. Because now we know that it goes to the starry fissure. We also need another code to enter. should give us back to the starting point that we've just rotated twice. No, I was wrong. I think... Well, I can't rotate from here, so let's just exit out here and go up. I think a single rotation. So I think a single will put us in the wrong spot, but, you know, you just sort of do it until you get there. Now we're in a place where we can see what's going on, and we know this is going to connect to it. Okay, yeah, there we go. So, let's see. Yes, it does work. We can climb up these stairs. Oops, didn't mean to go too quickly. Get a nice view. And what have we here? Okay, we have a giant, a giant grid of some sort. And on the side, we got a bunch of marbles or something like that. And there's a bunch of six different colors, and we can place them all in any of these locations. So we'll put them down there. Put any of them anywhere. Well, huh. So maybe it's some sort of code. Let's see what else we can do. If I come back over here, I could push this down. And then it, it's a kind of a press. can hit the button and nothing happens because we didn't get it right, of course. So, let's take a look at this one more time and see if we can figure out what is going on here. Okay, so we have six different colors. And we, this is what we know. We know that every dome has a symbol, because we're going to assume this is the power of the domes, right? Because, um... That's what we were talking about earlier. Every dome has a symbol, all right? And each of those symbols on Plateau Island in the aquarium has a certain color. So for example, we know that Plateau Island is yellow, and there's a yellow here. Jungle Island is red, and there's a red here. Crater Island, we don't know right now. And Temple Island, the Crater Island, the light didn't work, and Temple Island, we haven't checked to see because we didn't know what the symbol was. So Temple Island is something. Temple Island is some color. And the fifth island is also some color and some symbol. Now, 
So perhaps that does connect which of these is which color, but what, where do they go? Well, if you take a look at this, you can sort of see this is what the original ribbon looked like, where it's all connected. Um, and here we've got Plateau Island. You can see these barriers. Excuse me, that is Crater Island. This is Temple Island. This is the fifth island that we don't know about. This is Plateau Island. And this is Jungle Island. And so for each of these islands, we can let's say we have to take the correct color. So for example, Plateau Island is yellow. And so this yellow, I would assume, goes somewhere on this map of Plateau Island. But where would it go? Hmm. Well, let's think about it for a minute. This is sort of, you could sort of think about it as where is power going to be directed to and what feature would we want to connect it to? Well, if you're thinking the way I'm thinking, my bet is that the correct color for the correct island is going to go on the map location for where the fire marble dome is. So if you see, see what I'm trying to say here is, if we have this ideally solved, what will probably be true is we have the correct color on the correct island, so we'll have five marbles down, and at the correct location of the fire marble dome. Does that make sense? So Crater Island, we don't know what it is. Let's say it's purple. And let's say the dome is right here. Well, purple is going to go there. And then here is going to be the location of the dome. And here's going to be the location of the dome, the dome, the dome, etc. And so <coughs> this, if it's true, gives us a reason to use Plateau Island's, um, the, uh, what's it called? The, the mapping system, right? And so we can go through each of these islands and look at the maps and see accurately as we want to, where is that dome? Does that make sense? And if you'll even remember on the maps, it was red, red subdivisions, and this here is red subdivisions. So maybe, maybe we can head on back to Plateau Island and see if we can figure out what the locations of each of the domes are. Now, you see what I'm saying? This has to make sense. I don't see right now any other way with the information that we have for anything else. And we don't, <coughs> we so far we don't know, <coughs> excuse me, we don't know what the, uh, the mapping system is for. We don't know what the colors are for. And we've seen here that they sort of connect together. So it's got to be a connection, right? Um, while we're here, I kind of want to... Well, we're going to head to Plateau Island in just a minute, but since we're here, I want to kind of slow down for a minute and take a look at these beetles now that we sort of have a better, clear, a more clear idea of what's going on. So here, now that we've seen the islands, we can see what's, what this is. This is Gen's hand creating these books. And here's the wood chipper on Crater Island, which goes to the boiler which goes to the books. So does that make sense? He fires the furnace, makes the books. So this is that boiler we saw on Crater Island. It makes a little bit more sense now. Let's check out this beetle. This is indeed Gen, and he is writing his worlds. Yep, we got that right. All right. Let's check out this one. Here we also have Gin, and you can see these are the villagers, the people, and yes, this does look kind of like the villagers we saw. He's ascending, and the book is his halo, master of all, and you can see all of the common people are there, worshiping him. This is Gin, and there is Gin. This is Atris falling into the starry expanse, and there's the book dropping. And Gin is showing he has overpower over that. He's the reason that Atrus fell into the starry expanse, and he is the true victor. Although he really isn't, since Atrus clearly is still alive. And here you can see this is Gin overseeing each of his divisions. So if you remember, he was talking earlier about how there's all these guilds he has. He's made these various guilds. And each of these things represents one of his five guilds. So here 
we have probably the laborers guild looks like they're building here's probably teachers so they're teaching the people and you'll notice they're dressed differently than the villagers this is probably his militia i can't remember if there's a specific name for it this here is the surveyors guild and this here i'm actually not sure what that would be writers guild i don't know if he's got a writers guild or not but anyways at least we can tell a little bit more than we did and that's it all right well Let's take a journey back to Plateau Island. How do we want to do that? Um, I'm hesitant to rotate the dome again because it's kind of a pain, but I think we kind of have to. So we're going to rotate the dome. Yeah, we're going to have to head out back through the back end. And yeah, we're going to take the bridge to Crater Island, I think. That's the door we're going to end up going through. So i got to hit this again. <coughs> okay, so I think we can go to... We need to rotate twice more, but let me just check. Yeah, okay, so that's not going to help us. So we need to rotate it. I think once more will give us back the original entrance here. So let's rotate it again. <coughs> it's kind of nice to rotate from here because we can actually see it spinning. It's a little bit more satisfying. So let's rotate it again. I think this is a door out, unless it's the, uh, yeah, this is the door out. Okay, so we need to head on out here. We now know this symbol. And one thing that you probably have realized is for this mapping puzzle to work, we're going to have to guess some things because we clearly, we've been everywhere right now, and there's no way to reach that fifth island that we've seen so far. So... That's an issue. Let's see if this door's unlocked. Thank you. <coughs> Actually, this looks like it's a book binding. I think here I said it was fibers earlier, but that looks like it's book binding. <laughs> so I just thought of that. And you can see all the work tusks. Um, let's call the tram, actually. Because I think I left it out there. All right. One thing I love about Riven is the size of it. There's a lot of things to see. And a lot of islands. Would have been cool, though, to kind of see what these looked like all connected together. All right, that's where we're going. So here's a question I have is how does Gin get the work? to the uh, jungle island area. Because that work in there was big. Unless he has more than one. He probably does have more than one of them. But he's clearly hunted a lot of them. So flip it around. I like this puzzle a lot, by the way. It's just, it's 
so simple. It's just like the door puzzles. And even the, uh, the drawbridge puzzle. Alright, so we gotta bring this thing up again. I just, I've said it before, that I just love this room. I love the aesthetic of it, this whole area. Especially the place underneath the lake. Actually, if you think about it, the um, lake has a bunch of lights with different colors. And if you remember, up top, the top place of the lake, each of those totem poles also had a different color painted on them. So it makes sense to think that perhaps the uh, color is painted that's painted on the totem pole is also where the light is, like the light is underneath the totem pole. Hopefully we don't run into another one of Gin's scribes. Working. I like it. Clearly, you know, like uh, Catherine said, Gin builds these grandiose things, and it's a waste. It's definitely a waste, but it's kind of cool in a way, too. Alright, so let's rotate it. Um, since we don't know all of the uh, symbols, we're just going to go ahead and write down what all of the colors are. So, Temple is the one we just got, which is this here. And Temple is green. Okay, so the two symbols we haven't seen, one of them is that one. Let me write that down real quick. And the other one is this one. I think. So one of these is the fifth island. We don't know which one, so let's see what color this is. Yellow. All right. Yellow, write that down. And then the other one that we haven't seen is this. Blue. You actually hear the work in the distance there. I want to take a look at this little guy again, this other one, and see, because maybe the view that we saw on the second one, we didn't see anywhere else, and we've explored everywhere we can, it seems like. So maybe it is indeed a view into the fifth island. That's the other one. Certainly, I don't recognize where it is. Huh, don't see anything though. Anyways, so we now need to go up to the uh, the mapping area and see if we can figure out the locations of these fire marbles. Um, <clears throat> and we are going to do that in the next episode. This has been Retro Gaming now playing uh, Riven the Sequel to Mist, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day.